Welcome back, you beautiful people, to another episode of Shisha Saturday. It's been so long. I haven't made a video in like three months or four months. I don't know how long already. But anyway, right now I am back with a vengeance here in Hong Kong, in Morocco. Morocco. And I'm with their Shisha master, Shisha director, whatever you want to call yourself, Mr. Galax. So can you introduce yourself first? Um, I'm Galax and. Um, I'm the Shisha director in here and we have started this uh, restaurant and lounge and from 2018 uh, December and to now we have a lot of different types and flavors that we have started and creating and a lot of different experience and also experiments that we're doing here to give the people that can have a really good experience in Hong Kong. So actually, if you can see here, they have a lot of different uh, hookahs, a lot of different bowls, like an HJ bowl, another HJ bowl there. I forgot what this is called again. This is called a KS Alpo bowl, stone bowl. And yeah, <laughs> we brought it from German. It's a very young hookah lounge yet, but they already have a lot of awesome things. Like uh, if you can share with us what flavors that we have because like there's only two of us but we have four hookahs here so what do we have from uh, right to the left from the right hand side we have the shika on top that we have hookah john with the, um, hong kong pink which is a uh, gravitas with king mints with it and also we got the kalau one plus lotus and with the middle one we got the make shisha air force and also the ks apple stone bowl and we got the Fumo as well, this is the Fumo tank and we got the Fumo 4.0 HMD and right here we got the Sahara with the wind cover that have the 88 volt, 88 bow in there and yep that's and there's more that we haven't shown like the Wooka and also the Oldman that we have yeah actually I smoked right out of the hook, uh, the Wooka uh, like uh, two hours ago, they ran out, so we didn't make it for the video already. But damn, those all of their pipes are good, all of their uh, flavors are good. It's uh, mostly American, American brands like Trifecta, like Hokafina. They even have Alchemist here, and even Tangiers. It's all just great. Like uh, for me right now, I'm enjoying this uh, mix that they have for the lounge. It's uh, the, the, again like the guava with cane mint, and it's I don't know, man. Like it's uh, it's it's a guava taste that I haven't had before because we don't really have that much guava flavors in the Philippines. But this is awesome. This one is also awesome. It's uh, it's a bit more floral, floral uh, taste. And uh, this one is uh, you forgot to take, tell them about this. It's special, special uh, brand that he has here in the lounge. This Fumo within is the UK handmade flavors called Tropical Island. And within there, they we got the frozen raspberry mixed with the frozen blueberry, and also the rebound lychee, and also a dye flavor called ice bonbon, which is very popular in UK. Yeah, it's 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 a great mix that they have. The good thing that they have here is that they don't only have quality uh, shisha tobacco. They don't they don't they don't only have quality hookahs, but they also got you know good mixes like they have the shisha director here he knows how to make his uh, hookah he knows what flavors go well with what and they know how to serve the customers properly because like uh, if you can share with us uh, Galax like how is the hookah scene in here in uh, Hong Kong because I don't know if a lot of people know I, I surely didn't know that it was this big here in, in Hong Kong but can you share with us how, how it is like uh, how long has uh, hookah been in Hong Kong and uh, how much has it grown since then I think with the shisha, like this thing in Hong Kong, it stopped from I don't know, like more than 10 years ago, which people normally go to LK have in Hong Kong, which is really a popular, popular bar area in Hong Kong, and they surf with really basic brands that like uh, Alfaker and Alfasa and also. They use normal pipe like the KM, like really traditional. And till then, and from then to now, is we import a lot of different brands and pipes and everything that I know to Hong Kong to like share to others. I actually just started to to get into the shisha business last years ago, and I try a lot of things at my home, and I just want to bring 
like when people comes, I really want to provide them a really the best experience that they can have in Hong Kong, not just in Morocco. From what I've seen here, it's really big. Like at least compared to the Philippines, like the hookah scene here in, in Hong Kong. They, of course, there's no use in bringing a lot of these good, uh, you know, shisha, tobacco, hookahs if there's not a lot of customers. And right now we see that they they have a lot of people, you know, smoking here. There's a lot of uh, people, young people mostly, mostly, that like they just like the hookah tobacco, and it's uh, it's amazing. I, I find that it's it's a it's a great thing to see Hong Kong really develop with their uh, the hookah community. And if you guys ever, you know, if you ever want to go to Hong Kong or if you ever plan to go to Hong Kong, of course, go here to Morocco and have a talk with Galax and, you know, of course, smoke some shisha with him because it's really, he's a really nice guy. He, uh, he, he just, he, it's not just about business, about making hookah. It's, it's, he also, he also has the passion for it because, of course, you, you also smoke at your home. You, all, you also have all of those things. And you know, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to, to see the, uh, these people, like these people who serve hookah, who, uh, who give hookah to the community, that they also love hookah themselves. And uh, I don't know, aside from that, like, do you have anything else to add for, like, for the video, for, for anything? For, uh, you want to invite people to, uh, to Morocco or anywhere here in Hong Kong? I will, I, will suggest, I will suggest people to come to Morocco like for the first uh, choice that when they come to Hong Kong uh, because rather than Shisha we have a really big place and we are actually a restaurant that have a 2,000 feet outdoor area to give people a place to relax and we also got a really chill environment we got the projector set up when there is a football game goes on we will pro we will show it we'll share it to everyone and the food that we have we got Thai food mixed with uh, Western style food and I don't know and the second choice when I go to Hong Kong I will let's say Elscourt go to Elscourt because I used to work at Elscourt and then after I quit I come to Morocco so this will be the two places that I suggest people to come and try yeah sorry and just like come to Hong Kong to have more or different experience everywhere. LKF, Chim Sa Cherries, there's a lot of bars and choices and lounges that you can choose or find in Hong Kong. Well, that's great, man. Like, uh, he, as he said, the restaurant is really great. Cause like, uh, right now you can't see it cause it's right inside, but like, it's jam packed. So if you ever come to eat here, it's good luck. Cause uh, I don't know if it's it's a bit hard to actually eat here. Cause there's a lot of people who who, who are eating here. It's uh, it's a great place. They don't only have good hookah, but they also have good food. It's a great you know it's a great time to just have here in uh, in Morocco. And one last thing I think we forgot to say. I think we should have said this in the start. But can you tell them where to find Morocco? Right. You can. We got an Instagram play, page that call Morocco underscore high HK and if you want to call us and there is a website on there's a page on Facebook it's called Morocco Hong Kong as well and if you want to come here rather than search it on the internet you can go to Hong Kong and take the MTR to Yomate station and the exit A2 just walking walking for five minutes and there we are actually located in Gala Gala place which is in Hong Kong, that uh, really big shopping mall and we're located on the 8th floor, 801, yeah, that's our location and feel free to come and try. Yeah, it's, not, it's not that hard to get here, I mean, it's my first time here in Hong Kong and it wasn't really hard for me, even, like, I think the, the easiest way, if, you're, if you have a hard time with directions, is just use Google Maps. Uh, I just use Google Maps and I, I found my way here. Uh, found out to the best, at least right, uh, by far the best uh, hookah place here in Hong Kong, and I just can't recommend it enough. It's 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 a great place, and I love it, and I hope you guys try it as well. If you like the video, of course, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with all of your beautiful, beautiful friends. And see you guys again next time on my next video. I don't know what else I'm gonna make, but I'll probably just go around here in Hong Kong, check the other hookah places, like the Earl's Court he said. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye.